folks, Nick Corbettson here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a super simple MIDI controller with Arduino that works for iOS. I've dreamt of making a MIDI controller for years, and it turns out it's way easier than I could have ever imagined. Let's get started! So I've had this Arduino Leonardo collecting dust and its older brother, the Arduino Uno. You can use several microcontrollers for this project, but the Leonardo has support for USB over MIDI, while the Uno has some additional configurations. I'll leave a link in the description to Control Surface's documentation to see which microcontrollers work best for this project. But here's a quick snapshot and we'll go over it in more detail later in the video. So for this project, we'll be using the Arduino Leonardo, an old breadboard, pour one out for Radio Shack, some wire connectors, a button, an iPhone if you want to run it on mobile, but this will also just work on your computer, and Apple's Camera Connect Kit. And finally, a USB power supply for the Arduino. Now let's jump into the code side. You'll need the Arduino IDE, which I'll link in the description if you don't already have it. I'm using the Mac OS version since I'm on a Mac, and there are two libraries we will need to download from GitHub. They are Control Surface and MIDI USB. Control Surface is an Arduino library for building MIDI controllers. From their page, again, you can see which boards are supported as of the time of filming this video. And there are more details about devices with native USB support here, plus the additional steps for UNO configuration. Just visit this page for more details on selecting a suitable microcontroller. I'm using the Leonardo, but I've also heard good things about the Micro and the Micro Pro. Uh, you could also use Teensy. I don't know, it's your ball game. Do what you want. All right, so let's download the Control Surface project from GitHub. And as a dependency to this library, we also need the MIDI USB library. So I'll download that one too. Pretty sure I've said this multiple times, but the link is in the description. Now we can open the Arduino app and the Control Surface library we downloaded has some example sketches for exactly what we need. Navigate to Examples, MIDI Output, Buttons and Switches, Momentary Push Button, Note Button. I'll open this file and this is the sketch we're gonna be running on our Arduino with no code changes. First, the script includes our library, then we initialize the control surface and check in a loop for any changes to the button state. Did it change yet? Did it change yet? How about now? Did it change yet? And finally, we create our button, which will go to digital pin five and play MIDI note C4 on MIDI channel one. Now we need to add those two libraries. Go up to sketch, include libraries, Add Zip Library. Navigate to the Control Surface project and select Choose. Next, do the same thing for adding our MIDI USB library. Now let's wire everything up. Here I'm adding a button to our breadboard with one pin going to the ground rail and the other pin will be going to digital pin 5 of the Arduino Leonardo. And finally, I'll connect the Arduino's ground to the ground rail. You could just attach this directly to the button, but it makes things a little cleaner when you go to add more buttons later. Now I'll connect the Arduino's power supply to our computer. Next, select the board and port under tools to match your device. You can click the check button to compile and check for errors. Then if you pass that step, you're ready to upload the sketch to your device. Now with the device still plugged in, I'll open up GarageBand. Create an instrument and you'll see it detects the MIDI device automatically. Now let's get this thing running on the iPhone. Plug in your lightning power supply and that'll go to your camera connect kit. Next, plug in the Arduino's USB cable, then plonk it right into your phone. Now if we open up an app that supports MIDI, I'm using AudioKit Synth 1, you can see and hear the results. One cool thing is that you could actually bypass the button entirely. This is probably not a great idea. Now here's the cool part. I made a sample instrument app using AudioKit to play an AU sampler instrument that you can see from this tutorial. And that example works with this controller straight out of the box with no additional configuration. This means you could make a virtual instrument in GarageBand or Logic, make that into an app using AudioKit, then control it with a physical controller using Arduino. That is really cool. As a next step, you might want to try adding potentiometers connected to MIDI CC values or add additional buttons until you have your own custom MIDI controller. Here I'm wiring up the potentiometer to control Synth 1's mod wheel. I'll connect one of the pins to ground, another to the Arduino's power, and another to an analog input zero. These types of pots are impossible to twist, but it's the only one I had lying around.
And that's it. I hope this video is helpful in getting you started and going up that MIDI controller learning curve. Come holler at me in the comments about everything I did wrong or right, either one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Also like and subscribe. I don't know if I said that. I think I didn't, but now I did.